municipalities don't have to do anything they don't want to do. We're just enabling. We have a lot of municipalities who want to look at other options for uh, for policing. Look at Grand Prairie. When they went through and did the analysis, they realized that they would be able to get more officers and save $8 million. That's a, a pretty big advantage, which is why they're in the process of moving towards a municipal police force on their own and away from the RCMP. We have a couple of municipalities that have asked us to look at setting up sheriff's detachments, so we're working with both of those. Uh, we have been developing independent uh, sheriff teams to fill the gaps where we're seeing it in the RCMP. That's what our, our FAST team is all about, our fugitive apprehension team, our SCAN team, which shuts down drug houses, our surveillance teams, we'll, and we'll, we'll continue to do more of that. We, we want to see more policing of all sorts and it's the reason why we've made it available to municipalities to get a grant so if they want to look at the and do their own assessment they can if they don't want to they don't have to no one's getting pushed to do anything hmm. oh sorry they said policing oh okay they, again, they don't have to. It's a pilot project in Calgary and Edmonton. It does not affect anyone other than Calgary and Edmonton. No one's going to be forced to have a political party. We're just doing a trial run in Calgary and Edmonton because we already know that there are slates that are funded by large corporate interests and large union interests. And we want that to be transparent. If you're going to have big money in politics, and it was $1.7 million in Calgary last year, we want some accountability around how that money is spent and we want some transparency so people know what they're voting for. So we'll try it out in Calgary and Edmonton and see how it goes. We'll f try it out in Calgary and Edmonton and see how it goes. There's lots of things we can do. We're uh, going through all of our options now, uh, but we're working on putting forward a motion before the end of this session. So our session ends somewhere around the end of November, first week of December. So you just have a couple more weeks to wait until we, we introduce that into the legislature. Well, if the federal government stopped violating the Constitution, stopped passing illegal laws, then I guess we wouldn't have to keep on taking them to court. So it's very much in the federal government's hands. They, they should stay out of their lane. You better believe that if I started passing laws in their area of jurisdiction, they'd be taking us to court. So uh, they should stop doing it, and they should work collaboratively with us. We've been at a table with them almost since the moment I got elected, and they keep on walloping us with these kinds of decisions out of the blue that are unconstitutional. So our, our solution is to take them to court we've won. I mean, we, we won on Bill C-69, we won on plastics, and I suspect we'll win on more. But they, they should take the message that they can't keep operating this way. And of course, we're going to to, uh, to fight back every time they behave in an illegal way. Thanks, everyone.